What is up guys? It's Sean here with the Sean O'Dolly Football Channel and today I have a bit of a different video. I was kind of debating what to talk about today and I wanted to discuss my thoughts on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. There has been a lot of talk in the media and the news outlets and a lot of general negativity around uh, United and uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer seems to be the blame uh, at the moment for how we're playing, why we're not playing better, why the results aren't going the right way, yada, yada, yada. There's a lot of Ollie out or Ollie in, as we said. And this is kind of something I just wanted to discuss a little bit that in general, I don't want to say almost entitlement mentality that the Twitterverse has gotten to this point where I'm not a huge fan of this culture where there's fractions in inside the club where you have, in the case of United, you have Martial FC or Bruno FC or Pogba FC where it becomes more about supporting this one fraction of the fan base than it becomes about supporting the team. And I get it. We're all fans and we all view the world differently and we all and we're all entitled to our own opinions about it but my take of it is I love Manchester United I support the club and I support every player who plays for Manchester United I love them all whether it's Fred and McTominay whether it's Lingard whether it's Pogba or Ronaldo or De Gea all of them deserve love to me. All of them deserve support because one of the things that I also don't think anybody discusses enough is that these guys are people. They're humans. They have good days and bad days. It happens. I don't think there ever is a situation where a player walks on the pitch and doesn't want to give their best. I think they always do. And I think our job as fans has always been the same thing, and that is to support the team. Whether through bad performances, loss, draw, and I know the common thing whenever somebody makes this type of argument is like, oh, dropping standards again. It's like, what standards are we, like, I don't understand what this, oh, you're accepting mediocrity, accepting the drop of standards. No, but the thing is, even if that was the case, it doesn't make a difference. We don't own the club. Who does own the club? The Glazers. They're the ones who get to choose what is acceptable and what is not acceptable. Do the fans have a power? Yes. But when it comes to getting rid of a manager, it is not as much as the players do. The players are where it's at. When a coach loses its player base and loses the players, when the players stop believing in what the manager has to say, then the manager has to go. My thoughts on Jose Mourinho was uh, when he was uh, pretty much on, the out, on, on his way out was I wanted him to leave pretty much the minute he started that whole feud with Pogba and throwing Luke Shaw under the bus. I was not a fan of those. I was not a fan of that. I don't call me old fashioned, call it whatever you want, but I don't like a manager coming out and publicly embarrassing players of our team. You want to do that in private, that's totally fine, but it's unnecessary to do that publicly because it just seems un it's just unprofessional to me. When Ole came into the club and took over I will be honest, I was on the Ole Out side of things at the beginning. I did not believe he had the expertise or the credibility to take this team through the rebuild that we had to go through. However, over the last, uh, I want to say about beginning of last season, I actually sit, sat down and actually kind of took a real glance at what we've done. And the fact of the matter was, I've been very much impressed with the project that Ali has undertaken and the place he's taken this team. Some may say, oh, it's not enough. Oh, look at Tuchel and what he's done. And to me, I say, okay, good for them. 
Like, Chelsea is a phenomenally run club, backed by people who want them to be the best team in the world, and uh, have one of the strongest teams in the world. Tuchel is a fantastic manager. Is Tuchel a better manager than Solskjaer? Most likely. Most likely. I'm not going to deny that. Is Pep a better manager? Absolutely. Is Klopp? Absolutely. There's no question about that. The fact of the matter is, I think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has done as good of a job as he could have done with the talent at his disposal. Now, the things that people are going to run off and talk about is, oh, what about all the semifinal losses? We lost to Man City. No shame in losing to them. We lost to Chelsea. Big mistakes cost us that game. But again, it's Chelsea. Could have gone either way. And we lost to Leicester. Maybe the Leicester game we could have done something, but I'm not really making a too big of a deal about losing those semifinals. The thing that, matter, that really matters to me, when you're through this kind of rebuild in the Premier League at the moment, the thing that matters more after a Champions League or the Premier League is top four. That's the fact of the matter. I would rather... If you give me this right now, would you rather have top four or win the FA Cup and the EFL? I would rather get top four. Because that shows me that we are a progressively good team that can stand in this league over time. Winning a cup doesn't mean anything. In my, when, you're, when you're in the process of a rebuild. When all these things about, oh, he needs a win. He needs to win something. Are we favorites to win any of the tournaments that we're, that we're in? Are we favorites for the Premier League? Last I checked, the odds were fourth. Are we favorites for the Champions League? Last I checked, we're about sixth or seventh, maybe eighth. Why does he have to win it then? Are we favorites for the FA Cup? No. Does it matter? Would anybody take FA Cup and not get, getting into the top four? No, they won't. So I think everybody just needs a little bit of perspective. I think people need a lot more patience and a lot more support. That's what it means to be a fan. There were people who were beyond pissed that were Manchester United fans that when, when Ronaldo scored, how could you be upset when we win a game in the 95th minute? That's amazing. That's why we watch the game. I, I'll be honest. I was at one time, I did think of, oh, he should just, we should just lose this game so he gets sacked. No, no, I don't believe in that anymore. I will support the manager until the last opportunity, until I stop believing that the players believe in him. Because the thing is, I don't know Solskjaer. But the players do. I put my trust in the fact that we have four or five world-class players in that dressing room. And they all have faith in Solskjaer. If they stop believing in him, then we have reason to doubt. Then we can ask for him to leave. Then we can bring in a group, new manager. And even in that situation, every single person better be on their knees thanking Ole Gunnar Solskjaer for what he's done for this club. Because no manager since Sir Alex Ferguson has come even close to rebuilding this squad properly. Not even once. We've never been even in the argument for a title challenge. We've never even been a guarantee for top four over the last five years. Sorry, eight years. Now we have a team that can compete and it can compete for years to come. Is, has the season started out a little meh? Sure, it has. But guess what? We're still second in the table based off points. And we're still in the Champions League. Have the uh, performances been a little drab? Absolutely they have. Is it reason to sack a manager? No. No. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is not going to get sacked. So for all those who just want to constantly keep saying, oh, sack Ole, Ole out, Ole in, whatever. 
let it go. It's not happening. It just won't happen. The club aren't going to sack him. Minimum until next year. Or unless something ridiculous happens where he lo the players lose faith. I don't see either of those two things happening. This video is mainly just meant to be a relax video. I, kind I know I kind of had a similar one last week, but it's not... I think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has done a great job with United. Is he the man to win titles with us? I don't know. I want, I would, but I would rather believe that he is than put, than say he's not. That's all I'm saying. I'd rather be optimistic than pessimistic. Because the thing is, Di Matteo was able to win a Champions League. Was that Chelsea team the best Chelsea team of all time? Nope. Did he play a great style of football? Nope. But guess what? You look up Champions League, Chelsea's name is up there. That's all that matters. That's kind of my rant for the day. My name is Sean. This is Sean of the LA Football Channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Bye.